How Trump can survive prison. Convicted. Trump has been convicted on 34 felonies and has other cases pending. So here oh, are 10 ways oh, Trump shot. can survive prison. Number one, plan your first day. Get to know the lay of the land. Who's in charge? How many whites there are? Who has the biggest horse cock? Remember, in prison, size matters. Next, you're gonna oh want to mark your territory. God. Couldn't get Mexico to build a wall, but maybe you can negotiate for top bunk. After that, it's time to learn the unspoken rules, like who controls the TV remote, how to get contraband, when's the best oh. time to fap. Oh, what the? Ah. When's the best time to fap? Don't want to whip out your carrot with horses nearby. And whatever you what? do, don't borrow anything. <laughs> See a Snickers on your bed, leave it. A tasty treat means someone wants your meat. Number two, Yo. join a gang. It rhymes, so it makes Most sense. Prisoner are minorities. Wait, did he say join a gang and had NWA up there? Do we consider this group of individuals, these nice looking individuals, to be a gang? You got Dr. Dre, Snoop, Ice Cube, and Eminem. What gang is that? And you got a great track record with them. So if you want to keep that starfish tight, then you're going to need some help at night. But you're in luck because one flash in the Megatat and dem skins be on your back. It's like they're inside dog whistles. <laughs> Then once you have help, it's time to find a scapegoat. Could be blacks, Muslims, ugly women, but I recommend the tried and true border crossers. Time to build a wall between them and basic human rights. Sorry, Pedro, this is my cell now. Me amo Jesus. Whatever, string them up. Por favor, por favor. Plus, once they see who the big dog is, they'll come begging, which is perfect because you're going to need intel. And who's better to get it from than a sleeper khaki? Number three, Yo! start out. Now, based off your centaur-shaped body, I know going to the gym is going to seem like a weird concept, but it's crucial if you want to survive. But what can you do at holy sh**? 78 years old? He's 78. Well, let's start with getting up. Slap it, take a pill, find a buddy, whatever it takes, just get out of bed, Gramps. Then there are plenty of ways to get that heart rate up. <laughs> There's human snake, rocking in sadness, and of course, golf. Sure, it's no 18 hole, but if this experience taught you anything, is you just need one hole. Okay. All right. Just one hole. Okay. I'm gonna find a hole. All right. Now, what is this he holding in his hand? What is that? Is that one of those towels that's hard as hell because of so much cum up there? The cum that made it sticky and hard? Ugh. And guess who always wins? That's right, little Donnie. If your roommate can't accept the results from your election, they both got you one. Deported. Now, what's to stop you from asking for a room alone? One word, validation. What's the point of being awesome at everything if someone doesn't praise you for it? Businesses, elections, True. cheating on your pregnant wife? No one's better than you. Besides, if you could use a spotter, someone to lend a hand, someone to help you push harder, someone to help you from going soft. Huh? Or always fight back. In prison, showing any sign of weakness is like ringing the dinner bell for prisoners. Fresh meat over here. So if someone's... Oh, no! He's bit the f*** over! Oh! Good art, though. A1 form. <laughs> so if someone's coming for your rear, then push away the tears and call him a queer. Don't let him go gentle into your dark night. Fight back. They probably Keep like his eyes, it. His throat, his grandmother's Medicaid, whatever will hurt him most. Remember, it's not about winning. It's about sending a message. You need to let everyone know that this Cheeto is extra spicy. But considering you're 78 years old, it's going to be hard to clench Wait, those cheeks. This Cheeto is extra spicy. Are we talking about STDs? Like, what are we talking about, bruh? What does that mean? So if you ever backed into a corner, then just call the guy a diddler. No one likes diddlers in prison. You're only convicted of sexually abusing a woman. <laughs> No one cares about them. Now, if that doesn't work and you start to feel Tyrone's cold hands on your soft hips, then it's time to close your eyes and pretend it's another stormy night. Number five, oh. don't drop the soap. Showering's gonna be tough, considering your base position is standing doggy. And how are you gonna hold on to soap with those tiny hands? Well, that's where your business brain comes in. Imagine Trump soap. Same soap, except 30% smaller. That way you boost your revenue and give your toddler fingers something to grip. Wait, got a question. Wait, why did I just hear that sound effect? That the sound effect, you know what I'm saying? Like you swallowing. Listen, my question is, they don't have washcloths in prison? Something about holding raw soap, a, a bar of hard ass soap in my hand. I don't know. It don't make me feel good about my life. I can't imagine myself washing any part of my body with just a hard bar of soap. Something just... It don't sit well with me, ma'am. It don't sound right. Best of all, you control the supply. Gonna be hard to get into your Hershey Highway without a golden ticket. So if you want to clean your balls, then give Trump a call. Let everyone know you're the one that governs basic human rights. Sorry, Jamal. Fresh out. Why don't you use those tears to wipe away that ass? Why his face Number like six, that? Find okay. a hobby. Normally, you spend the day hate tweeting, but there's no phones in prison. Now, sure, you could scribble some nonsense on toilet paper, but Donnie wants likes. No! So how about this? How about a new reality show called Orange is the New Trump, where each week inmates face new challenges. Cage fighting finger painting, beauty pageants, all to win a VIP pass to your dressing room. Now the real entertainment begins. Because if they want to earn that top inmate sash, then they gotta prove their loyalty. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to win? <laughs> yes. Good. 
Now sign this NDA. Number seven, bribe uh, uh, guards. Uh, okay. Most people in law enforcement tend to be conservative, meaning they're easy to manipulate. So start the negotiation low, offering an IOU or my family to take care of the bill. Don't worry, Eric's tremendous with that stuff. Don't you mean Eric? Whatever, the one who doesn't f goats. If that doesn't work, then start sending out anonymous Trump high tops, possibly on their kid's birthday. That now, is the ugliest thing I've ever saw in my life. Is that real? Why the hell would Trump even let this be released, bruh? This is the most horrible shoe of all time. These are worse than what they sent Casa Nat for the Twitch thing. These is our ugly. Wow, what a great dad I made you look like. Those shoes are limited edition, but the love you received was eternal. So how about you sprinkle some love my way and give me alone time with my tight attorney? Yeah, I switch attorneys a lot. I'm a busy man. <laughs> now, if shoes or favors don't work, then you're part of the deep state? What? Oh, I knew they put one of you in here to spy on me. Sir, that's not... Does your family know? Did you brainwash them too? Oh, maga no like sheep. Great <laughs> snitches get stitches. You're used to running your mouth on Twitter, but Aaron Dirty Laundry in prison is the quickest way to turn to Swiss cheese. So if you want to leave with the same amount of holes you came in with, you're going to need to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I'm Yo, kidding, of course. he's crazy. If you had any self control, you wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. That is no. true. What you wow. really need to do is figure out who you can throw under the bus. I'm talking about drug addicts, diddlers, darkies. <sighs> <laughs> Just, you know, that's how you're just going to slide that in like that. You're just going to slide that right in the hole. Crazy. All right. <laughs> All right. Anyone that claims they're a victim. You see, the best way to remain unfiltered is to divide and conquer. Sure, I talk trash, but Jamal is the one stealing soap. Wait, what? It won't be hard to convince the be stealing, like huh? I mentioned earlier, <laughs> they're idiots. You're going to tell me sitting in a chair for four hours as you watch a predator play Yahtzee was a good career choice? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Have fun babysitting monsters. Number nine, <laughs> preach the gospel. Now, sure, you represent every deadly sin, but who cares? It's not like the guy who blew up a nursery is getting in anyway. So start offering salvation for the low price of $69.99. He ain't lying. I mean, they could repent, but like, I, I don't know what to say, man. I don't want to get canceled. Think about it. Page one, beautiful portrait of you and Jesus. Mostly you, though. Jesus in the background, if anything. And to make wow. it relatable, each section has footnotes to represent your code of ethics. Thou shall not cover thy neighbor's wife, unless she's a ten. Man shall not lie with another man, but women are on the table. The love of money is the root of all evil. I'm sorry, does it hurt to be poor? Remember, yes. it won't be hard to convince a high school dropout that a snake can talk. Don't they need lips? Do you want to burn for eternity? No? Then how about you start healing with your wife? Wait, I fit into everybody. You're an atheist? This is giving very much atheist vibes. Nothing wrong with that. She don't seem like a believer. <laughs> I think you've been sprinkling that in your videos here and there. And I have no problem with that. Everybody believe in what they want to believe in. Prison riot. If all else fails, then it's rally time. Antifa, Mexicans, gender fluid. Are we going to let them take this prison? Hell no. They're treating us like animals. We want our cigarettes. We want our ramen. We want our Charmin toilet paper. We yes. got to fight for our freedom. I we love Charmin. America. We got to let these radical guards know I was born a man. Born a man. Born a man. Born a man. Then, just as conflict is about to erupt, I was born a woman. To negotiate a deal, a deal that helps out the only person you care about. That's right, the Big D. But what about the inmates and all those promises you made? <laughs> You see, that's the beauty in all of this. Because despite the blatant betrayal, they'll support you no matter what. Admitting they were deceived would be admitting their own gullibility. So by denying the truth, they protect their ego from the painful realization that they were misled. <laughs> You see, their loyalty isn't just to you, but to their own pride. Mm. And that's how you keep them in line. Because you're more than just their leader. You're their savior. So watch as Save they get us. on their knees. Donald J. Christ. The gospel. <laughs> you think people be out here like, save us, Donald J. Christ. <laughs> You're their savior. So watch as they get on their knees, ready to swallow your gospel. So those are I know ways said that. Trump can survive prison. <laughs> and Don, if you're watching this, I just want to let you know, don't let the haters win. You stood up to every challenge and succeeded. Well, except your university airline vodka stakes casino and so far every criminal trial. But life isn't about how smart you are. He's a failure. Are. It's about your ability He's not to really overcome rich. obstacles. Polls, laws, women saying no. You haven't let anything hold you back. Besides, when you think about it, you got what you always wanted ratings because who isn't going to tune into your cell block drama maga's looking for barking orders and libs are looking to stroke that bona now all you have to decide is which network gets the privilege ah! of broadcasting your tirades imagine giving fox exclusive rights to your hateful ramblings forcing other networks to watch and report on it later thus keeping their ratings low and your sky high the highest we've ever seen you're like an angel that commands attention give me your envy the worst job in america <laughs> 
You're probably wondering how I got here. Yes. That's because I work the worst job in America called Mental Health Therapy Aid, or Mahatas for short. Mahatas okay. work in psych wards and are basically babysitters for adults, feeding them, monitoring them, getting viciously attacked by them, off of the low pay of 35 grand a year. That's right, for an unlivable Dang. wage, you too can deal with the stress of, will I get assaulted today? When I started the job, I had no idea what I was getting into. All they asked in the interview process was, are you okay with mandated overtime? In which they might as well have asked, mandated? how are you? Because who is okay with being forced to work? Hey, did you think you were about to go home? Well, not anymore. We're going to need to watch Billy. Be careful. He's off his meds and loves to bite. My first day on the job told me what anxiety really is. It started by being dumped on the sex offenders unit and told to take roll call. Imagine all of a sudden being surrounded by 30 psychotic predators and having to talk to every single one of them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to feel like I'm going to get graped. I'm definitely going to get graped, bro. I'm like tiny, Chad. I look good. I look delicious. I like a great... Mr. Good Bar, you know what I'm saying? Like people want to put my chocolate in their mouth. So I know if I go to a sex offender therapy session, they gonna want my cheeks, bro. They gonna for sure want to eat this up. That's not the way I was trying to go about that conversation. Not only that, but as I'm asking for people's names, all I'm doing is making enemies. Because 90% of psych patients are lazy, drugged up idiots who spend most of the day sleeping. And my white ass is just tapping them on the shoulder like, hey, what's your name? Go f*** yourself. Okay, I don't see yourself here. Is it Jerry? Is that your name? Jerry? <laughs> but that fear eventually subsides, lulling you into a full sense of security. Now you're much easier to attack. You'll remember to be anxious next time a food trace thrown at your face. It's what you get for opening up their package of bread, sprinkling in rat poison, and putting the wrapper back on, thinking I wouldn't notice. So what's the training uh, like to what? handle an aggressive patient? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You see, I'm not allowed to hit, tackle, or even bear hug him. No, no, it's too cruel. All I'm allowed to do is redirect. So if a patient is coming at me with a hammer, all I can do is redirect him away. Which sounds ridiculous, and it is! You think pressing the is, is going to make a person forget what they were doing? Where did this hammer come from? And in what part of this do you get the weapon away from the patient? Is Billy now on construction duty? Oh, nails good. You see, what happened was, a few years back, people used to beat the heck out of patients. So they changed the laws in order to protect them. Problem is, they overcorrected, and now patients have too many rights. For example, let's say a patient punches you in the face and breaks your jaw. You know what happens to them? Nothing! No jail, no prison, no hooking up the nips to car batteries. Nothing. What? And you can go ahead and press charges, but like Drake being told no, it's not going to change anything. Because in order to convict you need evidence and psych wards refuse to provide any in fear of violating hipaa mm, i mean that does make sense if this is real is this a real experience for you offending everybody do you need therapy like i know you was doing therapy for other people but do you need therapy if you really had this as a job i'm not gonna lie it makes sense why you make videos like this it absolutely makes sense bro you think your pinata face would be enough proof, but sadly, it isn't. I learned this the hard way when a patient named Tommy chomped down on my arm. And you might be thinking, oh, well, maybe he was psychotic at the t No! He knew exactly what he was doing. Oh, yeah, See, Tommy kid. is basically an internet troll. All day, every day, is spent trying to instigate people. He'll harass, stalk, and pet staff members, all with the biggest smile on his face. Pet. And one day, Tommy starts bothering another patient named Rick, and Rick is not the person you want to f*** with. Rick has a long history of violence and has been arrested 37 times. Dang! I don't have to 20, they just say, look, you had your chance. Not only that, but Rick's fists don't discriminate. He's assaulted police, COs, nurses, so I don't think my pacey ass is off limits. Anyway, I keep saying Equal rights. Tommy and Rick, but Tommy just keeps coming back. Eventually, I get fed up, and I was like, look, Tommy, I'm not gonna tell you again. Either go to your room, or I'm gonna call the doctor to give you an injection. Tommy responds appropriately by spitting in my face. Oh. This is where I have to. Oh. You see, instead of manhandling Tommy like I wanted to, I decided to play by the rules and redirect him to the medication room. Problem was, once we got there, Tommy was free to drag me to the ground. And now it's a UFC match. Instinctively, I go for an arm bar, but Tommy counters with a chomp to the forearm. Immediately, I hit him in the throat. He lets go, but not before taking a nice little chunk out of me. Eventually, I go to the hospital, where a thick nurse asks, what happened? But why are the nurses always thick, bruh? I don't know. It's something about a woman in scrubs that get me... You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. Woman in scrubs... <laughs> That was the wrong emote. I meant to do something else. I don't know. Look, the microphone was the only thing that's sexual in this room. So y'all can think whatever y'all want to think. But imagine this is a woman's All right. <laughs> How to shut up, bro. Well, the hungry patient decided to have a little nibble. Maybe you should have fed him more. Or maybe I'm just a tasty treat. That's mm. why I my supervisor telling me Tommy is HIV positive. All right. Positive. Positive. Yeah, not only do I get stitches, but I also get that fear rattling around in my brain noodle. Oh, Ooh. but at least I get a few days off from work. Did they pay you for you almost being HIV positive? I'm positive that's a negative situation for you. I'm going to stop. Imagine you at the job, somebody bites you, and now you have the fear of having HIV. 
I need all types of payments, bro. You got this animal over here chomping my arm off. When you get injured, the hospital doesn't give you days off, so I had to use my own vacation time. Some people vacay in Hawaii while I sit home worrying about dying. So I returned to work a week later and talked to Tommy's parole officer, who piled on more bad news, saying that even with an injury requiring stitches, there was nothing he could do. So what do you think Tommy did once he found out there were no consequences? Did he again? Level up his troll game? Yep. Turns out giving an a-hole a get out of jail free card is like giving Drake a preteen, saying, "I hope you don't abuse this." And this is just one of the many times I was injured at the psych center. Not including all the psychological trauma, there was a stretch between February and November where I was legitimately worried about my life, mostly due to a patient named Tyrone. Tyrone has the three most dangerous qualities of any human. He's dumb as rocks, paranoid, Don't say black. Okay, okay, thank God. Oh, man, it was getting dangerous, bro. I'm sorry, you scare me sometimes. He's dumb as rocks, paranoid, and freakishly strong. He barely even worked out either. He was just built like a gorilla. And that's not even a race thing. If anything, I was the slave in our relationship. Fetch me some water, boy. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. But even with walking on eggshells, Tyrone would still get furious with me. Mostly because, like I mentioned oh. earlier, he's paranoid! If you just glanced at this dude wrong, he'd think you're plotting against him. But luckily, most of the staff knew how to handle Tyrone, which was just to ignore him. Engaging with someone paranoid only fuels their delusion. So the simplest strat is to just ignore him. However, one staff member named Jamal apparently didn't get the memo and starts arguing with Tyrone. I'm trying to separate him when Jamal says, stop talking about something and do it. Now my anxiety is skyrocketing. You wanna He's fight Tyrone? Tyrone? swinging at Jamal, I'm the best option to get him off and I'm not a good option. Be like a preteen trying to wrestle Drake. You're so cute when you struggle. That was three in one video, bro. You did three strays to Drake. Like, oh my gosh. I thought like one or two, okay. That is the third one. Yo, Dre, you got to do something. You going back and forth with Kendra Lamar has ruined your reputation. Wrestle Drake. You're so cute when you struggle. So I'm begging Jamal. Come on, man. It's not worth it. But he just has to run his mouth again and say, I knew you were soft. Soft, soft. And just like that, it's boss battle time. Tyrone grabs Jamal by the neck and just tosses him across the room. Like oh my gosh. An infant, causing him to fly through the air before landing hard on the concrete. Then Tyrone starts charging towards Jamal when out of pure desperation, I yell, Chipotle. Tyrone hesitates. Chipotle, Tyrone. I'll go out right now and get you Chipotle if you leave Jamal alone panting tyrone goes <sighs> jamal and tyrone burrito. i'm like yep i'll get your burrito right now but you gotta chill okay go, go to your room and i'll bring it to you at this point i can see the gears turning in his head so with my heart pounding i looked right at tyrone and said chicken burrito tyrone looks at me nods then heads back to his room Staff you did a great job to help out jamal who was clearly fucked up there's no blood a white person named jamal <laughs> Turns out he suffered a sprained forearm, dislocated wrist, and fractured hip. Yeah, all from one frisbee toss. He <laughs> said he never came back to work, which was probably for the best, considering he had a habit of instigating the zoo animals. The zoo animals. Yo, Jamal's a dickhead, but any white person named Jamal, you might as well be a dickhead. You was doomed from the start. But to instigate the zoo animals? <laughs> That's crazy work. I'm not gonna lie. So whatever happened to Tyrone? Well, I got good news. He was arrested, charged, and later sentenced to five years in prison. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, there were no consequences. If anything, Tyrone's bad behavior was rewarded with Chipotle. That's because psych wards aren't fair. There's nothing fair about getting anxiety, being nibbled on, or thrown across the room when you're just trying to pick up a paycheck. So anybody out there thinking about working in a psych center, don't. But if you're poor and have no other option, then just remember, if you can't appeal to someone's mind, then try appealing to their stomach. Well, that was offending everybody. Y'all been asking for that for a minute. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, turn that bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching.